Titans have always been happiest when they're punching their way through their opponents, and this season they've been given the perfect exotic armor for that very job, called Point Contact Cannon Brace. This works hand in hand with Arc 3.0, meaning you can deliver huge thunderclaps that deal massive damage, flattening everything that gets in your way. Point Contact Cannon Brace had a lackluster introduction to the Destiny community, however, today I'm going to show you how to make the most of it with supporting weapons, aspects, fragments and mods in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, without further delay, let's dive right into that build. We're going to start off with the Arc 3.0 setup. For my super, I'm using Thunder Crash. For my grenade, I'm using a Storm Grenade. For my melee, I'm using the Thunder Clap. And for my class ability, I'm using a Towering Barricade. For the aspects, I'm using Knockout, so critically wounding a target or breaking their shield infuses your melee attacks. With Arc Energy, increases your melee range and damage for a short time. And defeating targets with melee attack starts health regeneration and makes you amplified. Then we've got Touch of Thunder, so your flashbang, pulse grenade, lightning and storm grenades have enhanced functionality. So I'm using storm grenades here, so after detonating it creates a roaming thundercloud that tracks nearby targets and fires bolts of lightning at foes beneath it. Next up for the fragments, I'm using spark of resistance, so while surrounded by combatants, you're more resistant to incoming damage. Spark of Magnitude, your lingering arc grenade, so grenade, pulse, and storm grenades have extended duration. Spark of Recharge, so while critically wounded, your melee and grenade energy regenerate more quickly. And then Spark of Discharge, arc weapon final blows have a chance to create an ionic trace. Next up, let's have a look at the exotic armor, so it's Point Contact Cannon Brace. And they are exotic titan gauntlets that come with the perk Hammer of the Gods. So with Hammer of the Gods, defeating targets with your Thunderclap melee restores melee energy. Targets near you when you use your Thunderclap suffer lightning strikes, and being amplified increases the range of those lightning strikes. And to get these exotic gauntlets, do Legend or Master of Sectors solo as a Titan when it's Arms Day. And you can use today in Destiny.com to find out which Lost Sector is the featured one that day and also what loot is available. Next up, let's have a look at the weapons. So in the kinetic slot, it's variable really. You want to be using something you can take care of champions with. This season, for anti-barrier, we've got scout rifles and auto rifles. For unstoppable champions, we've got pulse rifles. And with overload, we have bows. Given we are taking care of overload champions with our machine gun, now I would pick between a scout, pulse, and auto rifle. My personal pick here is the new purpose for unstoppable champions. This one is a high impact frame pulse, meaning it's slow firing and high damage. The weapon is more accurate when stationary and aiming down sights. A new purpose also deal stasis damage. Well, if you need a scout rifle, I would turn to my Firefly Hung Jury. But the thing to do is check which champion mods you need and then match the weapon to the champions in that activity. In the energy slot, I'm using Delicate Tomb. It's an exotic energy fusion rifle that comes with the perk Traitor's Vessel. So a Traitor's Vessel, it fires a wide horizontal spread when shot from the hip. Final blows of the weapon have a chance to generate ionic traces and powerful foes and opposing guardians always generate an Ionic Trace. Also comes with Tempest Cascade, so collecting an Ionic Trace overcharges the weapon next shot, jolting targets on hit. In the power slot, I'm using Chain of Command. It's the ritual weapon for Season of the Haunted and comes with a good selection of perks. Got Adrenaline Junkie, Demolitionist, Osmosis and Adaptive Munitions. I tend to go for Osmosis and Adaptive Munitions. So with Osmosis, you use your grenade ability to change the weapon damage type to your subclass until you stow it. Then you've got Adaptive Munition, so this weapon adapts its damage output and effectiveness against energy shields that don't match the weapon's damage type. Well, next up, let's have a look at the mods. I'm using Melee Wellmaker, so Power Melee Combatant Final Blow Spawn Elemental Wells that match your subclass energy type. I'm using Bountiful Wells, so Elemental Well mods that cause you to spawn Elemental Wells can now stack, spawning additional wells for each additional copy of the mod you have equipped. I'm using Well of Striking, so picking up an Arc Elemental Well grants you additional melee energy, and multiple copies of the mod increase that effect. I'm using Outreach, so reduces melee cooldown when you use your class ability, and Distribution, so reduces all ability cooldowns when using your class ability near targets, and then Anti-Barrier Scout or Unstoppable Pulse, and Overload for the Machine Gun. 
Well, next up, let's have a look at the gameplay loop. So we want to smash enemies with a charge melee, generate lightning strikes, get amplified and generate elemental wells, recharge that melee energy, punch them again, create a roaming storm cloud, take out the champions if you need with your kinetic and your power weapons, more punching and then repeat. So this build is focused around the exotic armor point contact cannon brace. They are exotic gauntlets for the Titan introduced in Season of Plunder. The main perk related to these exotic gauntlets is Hammer of the Gods, where defeating targets with a Thunderclap melee restores melee energy, and targets near you when you use your Thundercap suffer lightning strikes, and being amplified increases the range of those lightning strikes. So given the exotic perk is centered around the ability to Thunderclap, which is a charged melee ability, I'm going to focus the rest of the build related to melee abilities too, whether that be an increase to the charge rate of a melee attack or by producing elemental wells off the back of a strike. The idea is to keep the melee up as much as possible and to live out that true dream of every titan. Well first of all let's focus on the melee recharge, so spark of recharge is good. That means while critically wounded your melee and grenade energy regenerate more quickly, so if you're under attack it's likely that your melee is going to recharge nice and quickly. Also I'm using melee wellmaker and bountiful wells to create elemental wells, so then I'm using Well of Strike and it's going to top up your melee energy. Also defeating targets with Thunderclap, that's going to restore melee energy as well. And all of this just adds up, meaning you're going to have near constant powered melee abilities. Next for the supporting Arc 3.0 elements, so we're going to be using Storm Grenades, as these are the best type of grenades for Titan, creating a roaming storm cloud that follows your enemies and kills them. And this is really, really invaluable for Titans this season, really really gives you an advantage. We also want to become amplified as much as possible because that's going to increase the range of the lightning strikes from Hammer of the Gods. So with Knockout, defeating targets with melee attack starts health regeneration and makes you amplified, which means our first melee is going to hit hard, but the second one is going to hit even harder. Well let me know in the comments what you think of the build and share any improvements you can with the community. Well that is it for this guide for the Titan Arc 3.0 build with point contact cannon brace in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. Well if you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.